Hello YouTube, it's Das Gregor, and welcome back to a Gen 2 interview. I'm sorry I've been absent for a bit, but I've been very busy, and to be honest, I've been having a hard time trying to decide what to do next. I've reviewed a lot of different Linux distributions over the last year and a half, almost two years. Uh, with the exception of the last couple of months where I have slowed down greatly due to workload and my own personal life. I have done a lot of Gen 2 tutorials, although I do feel that now that my latest Gen 2 install guides are over a year old, I may want to revisit those and do them again. I have noticed that the Gen 2 forums have updated their instructions and it might be a good idea to kind of go over those and refresh not only myself but those interested in knowing uh, how things are done with the latest version of those instructions however for today I have been asked a few times about my desktop the widgets the gadgets the desktop icons etc of what I have so I thought I'd give a quick walkthrough of what I have here on the desktop. First off, over here in the left side, we have a program called Conky. And Conky pretty much is a nifty little desktop applet that you can run. You can customize it with any color schemes, graphics, using, for instance, being able to put the Gen 2 logo here. Just about any version of Linux, you can actually throw that on there using your config file adding in just some simple things now this color scheme that I'm using here I actually got from Linux user who is out in about and not making videos right now but sailing the open seas and he helped me kinda of get started on that as you'll notice too my uptime has only been three hours three nine minutes and I'll talk about that a little bit Recently, since my last January update, I've been seeing a small bug with my sound. And after my system's been up for a couple weeks, I've noticed some really bad stuttering with my AUG files. Now, I'm still trying to figure out why that's happening, but short story, every once in a while I have to reboot the system to fix it. Uh, this last time I kind of had to play around with the sound card information, which is kind of strange, but suddenly it started working. And hey, I always say if it's working, don't break it again. So right now it's working, so I'm leaving it alone. But it's been some kind of strange, crazy stuff. So I haven't been able to keep my system up because it seems like a lot of times when I mess with how the sound card works, I sometimes need to reboot just to make sure everything took effect. So, normally I'm sporting at least two or three months at a time before I'm going to reboot. This is a laptop, though, so it's still pretty impressive that I can go that long. As for this area over here, getting back to the desktop, these two are applications. Conky is an application, and then this is Docky. Docky is another uh, desktop that you can uh, install through Emerge. It doesn't come with Gen 2 so you have to do that separately much like Conky and it allows you to have all these quick links to your applications you can throw them on there you can pull them off of there I like it because I can resize it and as you focus on them they make them larger and smaller depending and, and it's kind of a nice little quick start bar so you don't have to go into the start menu over here the rest of everything on here though comes with Gen 2 and let me show you real quick if we go ahead and unlock widgets and click down here we can look at add widgets and if we change the category to running widgets which is probably the easiest you can see all the widgets that I have running now the ones you actually see up here are the RSS now widget which I use just to put KDE information, DistroWatch information, and slash dot for my tech news. This one over here that some people have called my soundbar widget, that is actually a system load viewer. You can see it right here. 
It's a tiny CPU RAM swap monitor. And you can, of course, configure this so that you're seeing uh, vertical or horizontal processes, what the update interval is, etc. You can change your color schemes. And it pretty much, I like to look at that because when I'm compiling a lot of things, uh, sometimes all my processors are just maxed out. And I need, and I know, okay, I need to lay off and just let it kind of work through. It also gives me an idea why is something taking up a lot of space, which is why I look at this and see how much my processors are being used. And I come over here and I say, for instance, what's using up all of my memory? You know, for instance, right now, Simple Screen Recorder is using up 25, 24% of the, it's of all my process information. And if I look at how much memory is actually being used. These are the top ones using the most memory. Right now I'm not using very much of anything, about 600 megs of a possible 7.73 because I have 8 gigs memory in the system. The last thing over here is Luna. And if I pull back this up and get back into the add widgets, and change the category back to all running widgets, there we go. You will see that Luna is right here displaying the moon phases. I'm always curious as to see what the moon phase is, whether we're having a full moon, a new moon, etc. So I have that there for myself. And as to that, the rest of these things that you will see here, the Lancelot launcher is, of course, this one. I have kind of grown used to it. I like it a lot ever since I saw it in one of Linux for You and Me's videos. And so I've been using it a great deal. I like it. Of course, the digital clock is down here, which you'll get by default. Most of these other things are default. The pager, uh, the show desktop I like to add if I just need to get everything down. That's right here. Uh, and then, of course, the system tray, task manager. The rest of these things are all pretty much standard that you'll normally see. So, as you can tell, nothing really neat, nothing really too out of the ordinary. Simple things that you can find. You don't have to install too much other. Uh, if, if you don't see the Lancelot, I think you have to make sure you install Plasma widgets, and that might be something that adds a few more, but that's pretty much it. Simple, docky, conky, the RSS now, my system load test, and Luna. As for the graphics that I get back here, and you know, you'll notice that this is something new that I have, I found this easily by just right-clicking going to default desktop settings and then saying hey show me some more desktops and then of course searching on Gentoo to pull up all kinds of different Gentoo versions also if you search in the eMERGE database on Gentoo wallpaper you will find that you can get a lot of the different wallpapers straight from them and download them and they go into your user share area and then you can point to them and set those up as well. They have some good ones there. I always enjoy putting the OS that I'm using as my desktop, as you can see here. And I like the theme around that, such as the color scheme for Conky and the transparency with the black and everything else. Now, if you're curious as to that particular stuff, if we go into system settings and pull that up and we look at common appearances are not common appearances I'm, I'm sorry workspace appearances and we look at workspace appearance the window decoration that I'm using right now is just oxygen the cursor theme is just the oxygen white the desktop theme right now I'm using andro bit I like the simplistic screens when you start up, so I use the minimalist startup screen. And then as for my colors, it's been a while since I've messed around with some of these things. So, see if that was back down in here. Application appearance, most likely. The style, oxygen. Hey, I'm starting to see a theme here. I'm using a lot of oxygen. <laughs> my colors I'm using Terra right now and the reason why I'm using Terra I normally I normally prefer a darker theme something like um, I think I was using Obsidian Coast at one time 
and I like that. However, there's problems sometimes seeing the fonts and certain words on there. So I found Terra kind of gives me still that steel grayish theme with a lot of everything, but at the same time gives me this this lighter area here for the colors and the fonts and the and everything to kind of play on so that I have easier time getting from different places and being able to read notices and notifications and things like that that are on the screen. Other than that, everything else is pretty much standard. I haven't changed anything with fonts. Um, let's just discard that for now. Just using the same sans serif, mono space, etc. And in GDK, I have it set up with Oxygen GDK and down here for the icon theme, Oxygen. So those are, in essence, everything I have set for my particular desktop. Nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy. I try to keep it simple. I don't like a lot of things on my desktop. If you notice, for instance, if we get rid of this little guy here, uh, I normally have my, my little console set up right here so that I can look at things. And as you can see, as I was talking about my sound issues earlier, I was doing some testing with AUG123 just to make sure that sound was playing properly. Whereas before it was stuttering really badly, now if we play something, it's working proper now and it sounds correct. Hopefully that stays that way for a while and I don't run into any other issues. But normally this is what my screen would look like when I'm working on it day to day. I have just this here and and my my applications over here. I used to have multiple desktops set up so I could flip flop and go all, all over the place but I find it's easier just to work in one single. If I am needing more space I will re recreate a new desktop to throw something in there to run so it's not cluttering up my system tray area. Uh, that is it in a nutshell. I hope that's helpful for those of you that were interested in how I set up my desktop. If you have more questions about it, feel free to reach out to me. I will try to do some more videos. And if you guys have some ideas, as I said, I'm kind of getting worn out on the whole review of distributions. After you've done 40 or 50, 60 different reviews of things, everything starts to look like it's melding together and it's the same distribution, just different name. And, and whether it's KDE or GNOME based, you know, XFCE, unless they've really done a good job theming for their distribution, it all just kind of melds, blends and you just can't tell a difference after a while and it gets a little dull looking at it and going yeah this just looks like this which looked like that which looked like the other and as for gen 2 reviews and updates i don't mind doing monthly updates whenever i do my gen 2 portage updates because i think that's a great idea that if i run into something weird i can explain it or show you or if you guys see something strange in yours notice and, and remember a lot of times based upon how you have your gen 2 box set up that's going to be different for each of you what applications are going to go through you may be using applications i don't use and vice versa so you won't have the same portage update but if they're system-wide features i do try to point those out especially if there's a news article that may affect a lot of people so until next time, whether it's morning, evening, noon, or night, whatever you're having, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your patience. We'll chat with you all later. Enjoy, guys. Bye.